And just let you guys know, if you click it back one time, that locks it into place. Now, if you keep, if you continue, then it unlocks it. And it's all the way tightened. Then one more time, locked in place. Then it coming out. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the DeWalt XR 6 amp hour battery. This battery has 21700 cells in it. We're going to do that against the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage battery. This battery also has 21700 cells in it. And this battery is brand new. Just to let you guys know very quickly that this battery is not the same as this battery. The original FlexVolt battery has 18650 cells in it, which isn't nearly as powerful as the 21700 cells in it. So if you see this if you see this battery with a charger, don't buy it. You want this is this is the new battery. So get this one. This is going to be between these two. Now normally you can get this at Lowe's, but Home Depot is actually having a sale with it this year, so I bought it at Home Depot. Both of these are a part of the the Black Friday holiday special. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a test to see which battery is better on the new DeWalt FlexFold Advantage, the XR, and the Atomic. So I want to go through all three platforms to see which one of these will prevail on each of the different types of tools. Now remember, FlexFold Advantage, brand new, the DeWalt XR, and the DeWalt Atomic. So uh, we're just going to do a couple of tests each, and the winner of this... All right, so... We are going to do a couple of tests each, and the winner of this is going to be the battery that's going to go up against the Milwaukee. All right, so I did do uh, I did do this live, but I want to make a real video on it so I could actually have a timer on there and go through a little bit more tests. All right, so this this video is not based on the tool. This is the battery. So I'll just uh, very quickly go through the model numbers of these really quick. Then we're going to go into the stuff because you could actually get all of these in the Black Friday sale. The Atomic has a sale, Advantage has a sale. Yeah, the XR DCF887, you could you know get in many kits. So let's go over the specs of these really quick and get to it. All right, so first we are gonna go over the FlexFold Advantage battery, six amp hour and 60 volt. Uh, so this is a 20 volt and 60 volt battery. This has 21,700 cells in it. This was made in 2020, so it is a brand new battery. And this is the DeWalt XR 6 amp hour 20 volt battery. All right, this also was made in 2020. Not sure if you can see that. Come on, focus. There we go, 2020. And the same thing with here, 2020. So these both are brand new batteries. All right, but there is a difference in size. As you can see, there is a difference in size. The XR is longer, XR is longer, and in thickness, they're both almost the same. The adva FlexFold Advantage is a tad bit wider. All right, but the tools that we will be using is the DeWalt FlexFold Advantage drill that is out. This is model number DCD999, half inch metal chuck. I'm not going to go through the specs. If you guys want to see the uh, specs of this, go to this video right here. That's where I did the unboxing of this. And I am disappointed in this tool so far because DeWalt already made the power detect. So they need to top off the power detect and make it more powerful than that. And I feel that this would lose against the power detect based on the test that I've already done. All right, so for the DeWalt Atomic, this is model number DCD708, half inch uh, metal chuck with plastic housing. And yeah, so this is a part of their compact series. And so this is on their Black Friday uh, list for to purchase at Home Depot. It is a brushless motor, so we will be using this as well. And of course, the DCF887. This, this is an old model. They need to update this to be a much more powerful impact driver, in my opinion. And so, yes, uh, try LED beam on the front, quarter inch hex collet. And so, yeah, we will be using this. All right, so let's get to the test. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Clean. 
blow those off really quick. There we go. All right, so first, let's start off small. We're gonna do a three quarter inch uh, drill. Drill bit. It's on drill, it's on speed three. This is able to do it, so I'm actually cur I'm curious myself to see on how well these are gonna perform. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three holes at once without stopping the motor. If the motor stops in any way, I declare that the tool failed the test. I do that to all my tests. All right, so battery is on the, battery fuel's on the back, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. That is powerful, that battery is, oh my God. All right, so let's do the same thing with this one. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Yep. Time, it did it, it did it. All right, so next we are gonna do the inch and a half speed bore. All right, so the battery is still full. Right here is good. We are on speed three, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. That is a beast. All right, so let's do the same with the flex volt advantage. I'm sorry to show you guys last time, but the battery is full on the advantage. All right, right there is good. All right, so ready, go. Up. Do that stop. Let's try one more hole. Try one more hole. Is that might that might have been user error, but let's see. If it does that again, it failed. All right, so ready, go. It's through, but it did it did stop at the very end. Before the last test for the, the flexible advantage drill, we are going to do the speed bore. One and a quarter inch speed bore. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Doesn't count, wood split. Yeah, that one doesn't count. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, it stopped. That's not good. All right, it failed the test. See, I'm not sure if you can tell, my finger's still pulled. So yeah, it failed the test and it can't take it out. It failed on speed three. It, fail, it failed the test. Yeah, that, that battery failed. All right, so let's see if we can do it on speed three. Drill with the, with the flex full advantage battery. All right, so let's continue. All right, so ready, go. Much better. We are gonna do the one and a quarter inch speed board. Sorry, the, yeah, the one and a quarter inch spade bit. It's on drill, it's on speed one. This is not the hammer drill version. This is the regular drill driver. This is also for those of you who want, who might want the uh, DeWalt Atomic. This will show you what this can do with a good battery. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Failed. Yep, cannot do it. Cannot do it. Let's see if we can do it with the flex volt advantage. This is what this test is for. So obviously it's gonna be able to do it on speed one, but we're doing it on speed two. 
because this is the speed that where the uh, the battery will majorly, majorly help the tool. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, failed. Uh, like I said, they both will work on speed one. See, there's no point. They both uh, they both failed. So the battery did not majorly help the tool out. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. That's disappointing. Let's try this. If this fails, what I'm going to do is go to speed one, and we'll test those two out again. We'll finish those. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, failed. Here we go. All right, so ready? Go. Time. That is time for that one. Then let's do the time for this one. Like I said, both of them are, they failed at the same depth. There we go. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, and that is the uh, test, final test for this. Let's go to the log. And that is why this is one of my most favorite tools. Alrighty, so we are gonna drive in a single six slag each. We're gonna do the XR battery first. Battery is still full. Like I said, they're gonna have plenty of life for these tests. Speed three, and it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. That did it. A little bit more. A little torquey. I think that's it. Yep, time. Hey, normally you don't do lags with drills, but these are able to, which is crazy. All right, so let's do the six amp hour flex load advantage. Battery is full. We got on speed one, it's on drill. Right here is good. A little bit closer, there we go. All right, so ready? Go. Time, oh, put in a little bit too much. There we go, perfect, it did it. It did it. All right, so let's get the other battery. Get out. All right, so ready? Go. One hand. So powerful that they just, you could, you could do it with one hand. All right, so ready? Go. That's, that's timed out. I'll stop the timer when that properly got out. And for the final test, we, we are going to do 5 8 inch lags by 8 inch lags. And these are a lot thicker than half inch, obviously. So we are going to test out the XR battery first. Then we're going to go over to the Flex Fold Advantage and see if there's a difference between these two. So ready? All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to put them both side to side each other. That's going to be one, one test. All right, so ready? Go. Yep, that's it, time. All right, so let's switch batteries. Let's do the flex load advantage. 
battery is full on this as well. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Pause. Yep, I should have put this on the ground. I mean, on the, the table. It doesn't matter if I stop because I start it right when I pull the trigger. Movie magic. All right, continue. Oh, as I was saying, the Makita bit broke. Yep. God, it's hard to find a good one. The Makita, the old like diamond head one was the best one. I have more. Let's do the Milwaukee. There we go. All right, so let's continue. should be a time did it i had to pause it a couple of times because i you know user error but that's it i do not know the time differences i don't find that out till i edit the video but let's quickly take them out and that is it for the test we'll do the xr battery first all right so ready go Up, had to do it was all it was out all right let's take this out flex folded advantage all right ready go Smells like a band aid. 107. 107 degrees. Uh, so, alrighty, so those are the test results for these two batteries going against each other. Now, do I know who won right at this point? No. I find that out during the editing of the video. But I do hope that you found this information useful to see which. Uh, to see which tool sale you should actually buy, either the Atomic, the XR deal that's going on for the $200 for the 6 amp hour and 4 amp hour and you get a free tool, or you want the Flexible Advantage kit. Wow, that got hot. I need a new battery in here. 85, 87. Yeah, I'm not going to trust that. I need a new battery. So... If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.